Welcome everybody. In today's class we will be learning how to do another application with regard to the use of arrays. Now in this particular illustration what I'm going to show you is I would like to design a small application which is able to calculate the total monthly expenses that an household incurs. Now why this is required or why is it necessary? Because it is imperative to understand that when you are able to know how much money is being spent, there is a high likelihood of making small changes or slight changes that would allow the household to cut down the expenses and save some money. You need not have to be uh, aiming to cut down everything in the lieu of uh, saving, but at least uh, some level of uh, unwanted expenses can be cut short, curtailed, so that the savings can always occur. And it is important that saving should be a necessary act for any household for that matter. So having mentioned that, uh, let me just start off. So I've got a page here. So I would like to start with the include command. Include IO stream and then using namespace STD. This is important because this allows us to utilize the libraries in C++ and then the start of the main uh, parent. So let me just start like this. int main and I wish to declare the following variables. int sum I would like to initiate it to 0 and then I would also like to collect the expenses. So int array I'm declaring it as an array. I wanted to receive the expenses for the month instead of ex daily expenses. So we can also have an app for that. But this one is more to do with the monthly expenses. So I'm declaring an array that would receive the values. Next, this is the beauty. I would want to get the month. So I would place in all the months in an array. So how is it done? It's actually, you need to declare it as a string. And inside the string, you need to declare a uh, uh, array. So this will be the array. And then we will start off by including the months. So Jan, Feb, March, April, May, Okay, so now that we have got these, what we need to do is we will have to receive the input, right? We will have to get the input. So for that, let me give a C out. And then C out, I'm going to say monthly expense calculated APP, right? So, <coughs> excuse me, I'll give an indel. And then I'll give some, make it a little bit more appearable. Okay, so this is the header. So header is already there. Now we need to get the inputs, right? So I will declare it as a for loop for int i is equal to 0, i less than 13, i plus plus. So let's see how this is going to be working out. So we got a block there. C out expense for January, right? So we need to display Jan month. So for that, I'm going to use month of 
I. So this will give the Jan month. And probably if you want to have some space, you can give a tab here. And then the month is displayed and you need to actually maybe probably you can put a colon so with a tab there and a colon and uh, this is going to be endl okay that's fine so after the appearance of every month you will have to give the input so it's going to be c in and we got the array right so array will receive the input that's fine You don't have to give anything else, just receive the input here. And then after you have received the input, you just close the block. And then we will want to know the total sum, how much is on an, on the total, <coughs> excuse me, sum of all the year, uh, months, expenses have to be added. And then we will also calculate the average expense for the individual months so that is going to be our primary action so this is going to be the input and now we need to get the output so i will copy this and then this will be the display see out the monthly expenses are as follows So I will give the for loop and I will display the expenses. So this is going to be the month along with I want to give the expenses. So that's going to be array of I and that's perfect. So probably this is not required. Take that out and probably you can place a slight demarcation over here and after we have done this I want, I want to calculate the sum now what you can do is as they are receiving the input as the input is given you can just say sum is equal to sum plus array i that's it so the sum is actually augmented added here and then we can utilize that sum so over here we can say total expenses for the year So this is going to be the total expense sum will be displayed and then we need to get the average so probably I'll give a, you can either give a variable int a v e r a g e and then after this loop you can say average is equal to sum divided by 12 and over here you can say see out the average expense for a single month is equal to and then that is going to be average right so now you return zero and close. So that's it. Let's see if we have any errors. Let's add it. Uh, let's save it and build it. So it says C out. Okay. That's not too much of an error. We just, uh, we, we should have placed it, but it's okay. Let me save this. So we'll run the program now. 
so 100 200 300 400 300 200 300 400 500 600 700 say 400 okay now it's fine right expense for January so and so and up until December so and so and the total expenses for the household is 4000 and uh, you are dividing 4000 by 12 so that would give you 366 so let's check that out 4400 0 divided by 12 okay 366 6. okay that's fine we have given an integer declaration so this is a program but only thing is that we need to set that uh, formatting correct so instead of saying month i should say expenses okay over here monthly expenses right so this one would be fine when we run it it clearly says monthly expense calculator or monthly expenses calculator so you depending upon what you want you can place it there so this program runs very well so that is the conclusion for this particular class